Everybody who has dice, please think of which one of your dice is first and which one is second. So we roll, and you know what is... So, Nathan, what is your first die? Five. Five. Okay, and then what is your second die? One. One. You're a psychologist. Your character is a psychologist. <laughs> and, Helma, how about you? The first one is a four. Mm-hmm. The second one is a three. You are a prisoner. <laughs> so that means you have been brought into this program uh, involuntarily, most likely. I already love it. Mm -hmm. um, so, Emma? Yeah, I have a six and a three. Okay, your character is a spy. So that means that you would be presenting yourself to the group under one justification, but you are really spying for something, for someone else. Okay, and so... In secret, very mm -hmm. secret. <laughs> and Max? I got my first die is six, my mm -hmm. second die is four. You are another spy. We have a nest <laughs> of spies. Okay, and then whoever is Ola's friend, go ahead and roll for him. No pressure. I can roll for oh, Ola. Did you roll, Ola, all by yourself? Okay, so you have two fives, is that yeah, correct? I roll, uh, five and, uh, yeah, two fives. Okay, so your character is called a scout, which means that you have a military background, and you, uh, but instead of a frontline soldier, you are somebody who uh, scouts out enemy territory. We go to Sorry. what is called the types. And so, in that case, for the, I guess we would start then with the, nobody was a lab rat, that is too bad, or a government <laughs> agent. A lab rat's Wishful like a prisoner, thinking. like a prisoner, but worse. And, uh, Wishful thinking. Yeah, and then there's military officers and politicians and all sorts of interesting things. But if we go to the prisoner, who is first on my list, I think, then uh, you get to roll one more die for your character, what is called your character's type. Six-sided, that too. Okay. Yes. Wait, wait. It's a five? Okay. So your character is imprisoned for being a con artist. You are somebody who has fooled people. And uh, so... That's what you know about your character. Now that will set that a bunch of me. I would never be able to <laughs> do that, right? Exactly. <laughs> and so we have uh, the the we have the attributes values uh, that we can get from the book, and we don't need to list them now. But we have just discovered all of your numbers, and from being a prisoner, you get a bunch of these skills. And then from being a con artist, you get some more skills. So you don't have to write these down. They're right there in the book. It's easy to get, and the document is free. But I will just read them so everybody gets an idea of how this works. From being a prisoner, you have the skills search, conceal, lie, and stealth. Filch, which means to steal things. Forgery. Unlock. And also good at unarmed combat. Now, from being a con artist, you are, can do persuade, acting, and disguise. So this gives you the idea of your character's skills. So then you will get some points and be able to get a few more skills that you want with those to make your character a little bit more individualized. Um, but let's go now to Nathan. I believe that you had a psychologist. I do. Uh, tell me uh, what your second or your next die, your your third die six will do for you. Uh, a third one is a three. Okay. So your background is also called psychologist, um, which means that you are an academic. Well, wait, they have a... They have, yeah, they have a psychiatrist who, as you know, is this clinician. And then you have uh, social workers, child psychologist, and pop psychologist. So you have the psychologist, which is 
the academic, the, the person who studies it and analyzes it scientifically. Um, so I won't read all the skills, but you can see it's the same logic. You get most of them from your first term and then a few more from your second term. Yeah. And you can see those when you look it up. So then we can go to uh, the scout. And so, hola, uh, what is your... Okay, let's, let's read that. It says, usually a soldier uh, may have been trained... Uh, usually, okay. The duty is to observe an enemy stronghold and to report back. Um, my, uh, somebody has to roll for me because my, yeah. mm -hmm. I'm trying to find why my internet is giving me hell here, closing down all web pages mm -hmm. and all other. I can roll for that. Yeah, roll for me, please. It's a six. Yeah. Hooray. So you are a lookout of all the different kinds of scouts. Your your job has been a lookout. So. You have been girl scout, one of those things. Kind of like that, yes. Um, you you interface with the with a, a home base. So remember that this is coming from a combat situation, a military combat situation. So that means that we will have to look at the setting and see what kinds of armed conflicts are part of the the history, and so where your background you know comes from. Maybe you come from the, you know the. Let's just say that in 1994, the author's ideas of what Latin America, Russia, and China would be doing is very colorful. So, um, so then let's see. We have, um, I think, Emma, did you have another psychologist? Was that right? No, another, oh, a spy. We have our two spies. That's right. Okay, excellent. So, Emma, if you roll one more die. And tell me the number. Uh, six. Six. Uh, you are, interestingly, you are a freelance spy. That means that you work for different governments and provide specialized services. So um, you are, you are uh, one of the, you're the kind of spy who has been, as, as I say, uh, you aren't associated with a given government or a given ideology. You are more like a mercenary. And so uh, that's why most of your skills involve uh, money and risks and things like that. Your character is very good at uh, bargaining for their advantage. Um, other than that, you have a lot of the kind of stereotypical movie spy stuff. So, um, again, it will be useful to look at the setting material and decide what, for example, what government is or what corporation is employing you. Uh, whether your job is to spy, bring information from the other planet, which is called Xenos, or whether you are spying on this organization that is sending you there. So we will discover that when we, we look at your backgrounds and what you want to do with them. And so, Max, you will have some of the same decisions to make. What is your next role? What does that bring us? I am a five. Okay. Well, I'm glad it's not the same because that's annoying. So <laughs> let's see. We uh, both are I mercenaries. Know. <laughs> yeah, that's possibly, but uh, it's more interesting. <laughs> To have this diversity. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. let's see what a five gives us. Ah, even better. You are a, what's called a mole. You are a spy who yeah. is expert at infiltrating another agency. And so <laughs> you probably... Somebody to be telling us this was a team game? That's right. <laughs> exactly. So Max, let me... Yeah, remember Dark Secrets and everything, right? Dark... Dark uh, fates and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is mine. <laughs> okay, so uh, Mark, I need or Mark Max, I need to clarify <laughs> to you, yeah, that uh, that in your case, it makes the most sense for you, for the people in this organization, this scientific organization, 
for them to think that you are their loyal agent. But you are secretly, very, very, very secretly working for some other government or some corporation. Mm. So, uh, in the case of, yeah, in, in your case, you would actually be operating as if you were an agent of this home organization. It's just that you are actually delivering their secrets somewhere else. Um, so in the case of Emma's character, that character is not necessarily a member of this organization. They are there in some other role that they're <clears throat> pretending to be um, entirely. So the name of this organization uh, is at the time was not used for anything and had no connotations. Um, it is uh, ISIS, I-S-E-S, the, what's it called? The International Society of Enlightened Scientists. So um, it is a benevolent organization that has cured AIDS, for example. It has cured the HIV AIDS phenomenon and it has provided cheap energy and it has revolutionized internet technology across the world and many, many other things, including some space flight. And is, um, as far as people can, as far as the, the book tells us, they did mean well. And just how bad they have become is left a little bit up to the game, the way we play it. So uh, they do not rule anything, but they are powerful enough for any government to have to take them seriously. Now, also, the backstory of this game is that many years ago, all the way back in the 1940s, there was this terrible scientist who discovered a, a, a machine or made a machine that could transmit the mind. And at first she did not realize that she was actually transmitting people's minds across time and space to this other place. But she finally figured it out and she was in a lot of trouble because she had been experimenting on humans and was responsible for all sorts of atrocious things. And so she sent her own mind over to that other planet and has not been basically disappeared. Um, but recently, horrifying beings and monsters from that place have been physically attacking Earth. They appear out of nowhere, they rampage, or they do something specific, and then they die or disappear. So ISIS, this organization, has recovered some of those alien bodies, and they have the original device. They have the original device from the 1940s, which they have tried to improve. And that's what you're using to go on these missions. And they have the support of most governments around the world because these beings' attacks on Earth are terrifying and uncontrollable. So ISIS has a mission to save Earth from this situation, but they know very, very little about the situation. They don't know if the woman scientist is still alive on that other planet. They don't know very much about its history and geography. They have a lit, they don't know much about the situation there. They know a little bit. They have sent very few missions. And they have had some very distressing results. People coming back insane, people being killed. There are ways to die when you are there. So Anyway, it's a, it's a very uh, dangerous thing, but they have done everything they can to recruit the best people that they can.